All right, Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Kumya Shala. Yahabah Shina Shabbat Rock a thumb. Shalom to the nation. All right. Happy destruction of Nicanor. Okay. That's what we're going to learn tonight. The, the, it, the day of Nicanor. Okay. Get your apocryphus out. We're still going to do some QA if we have time. All right. Like any normal Sabbath class. Uh, with us today, we got some special guests, man. God. We got our beloved brothers from the Tabernacle of David. They stopped by the house uh, to get into the word. We got Brother Dom and Brother brother Aaron. Shalom. All right. They come and keep the uh, day of Nicanor with us, man. This is a 
a Hebrew holiday, man. Crazy. And they, and, they, and they brought some gifts, man. Check this out. This is crazy. That's their logo. Tabernacle of David. Oh, David, that's fine. All right, we brothers in arms. I'm definitely going to rock this. Put some fringes on this thing. That's fine. Might just rock this as a smooth black tee with my ZZs. All right. That's Can't clean. forget. Can't, I'm going to take this out the bag, man. Got the God First Gang. Black God first tea. This gang. is hard. Right? Oh, Crispy. Yeah, got, the, got the folds in it. You ain't got this. Nah, y'all need they, don't, they don't make this in your state. Nah. You got to put that down. Put that down. All right? Like we do every time, man. Uh, we the Sons of Thunder. It's our hearts praying desire for Israel that they might be saved. Con? Um. All right, I got the warrior uh, Mitri on tonight. All right, because this lesson is about the warriors of our nation. I let my beard get scruffy on you, man. We got to go get grimy for this lesson. We got to get grimy for this lesson, man. Yeah. All right, first and foremost, we're going to start out Passover. It's April 3rd. Flyers are going to come out. Um, if you want to attend Passover, you must send an email to Sons of Thunder Israelites at Gmail. If you want to come to Passover, you must send an email to Sons of Thunder Israelites at Gmail. That's right. All right, no, no walk-ins. All right, you gotta, you gotta RSVP. We're gonna get you seated as we observe the solemn feast day. Get your spirit right before you come. The lessons are gonna come up to show you what spirit you're supposed to be in before even thinking about a Passover. All right, don't deceive yourself. All right, I've been way too nice and too friendly, and as I grow in this truth, it's certain things I gotta put my foot down. All right, certain things gotta stop. Stop coming to these feast days with the wrong spirit. I, I, I don't want to eat no meat. Um, I don't like lamb. Right, right. No, 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 no. That's the wrong attitude. Number one, you're there to observe that feast for a reason. I yo, I don't like these brothers. I like SOT. I want it. Whoa, that's already wrong. Can't do that. That's already wrong. All right. We're gonna show y'all the right spirit to come in. To the uh, feast day. Make sure y'all send that email. Passover for us is going to be April 3rd at even. Don't message me saying, is that April 2nd at sundown? <laughs> I didn't say that. Right. April 3rd at even. That's the date. That's a Monday. Make sure y'all take the time off. Come in Come in on the weekend. Come to camp with us Saturday. Uh, hopefully we have things uh, all set up because we're going to have some uh, meet and greets and things scheduled for the people. All right? Tomorrow, okay, as people flowing into the room, tomorrow is Purim, Par Yum. This is an important feast day. I understand you want to come to Passover, but you got to come to Purim. Got to. You got to come to, like, just like you're supposed to be here tonight, you got to come to Purim. Yes? Uh -huh. All right? Make sure you come to Purim. All right? You got to learn that history. That's going to get you in the spirit for Passover. Don't skip nothing. All right? Don't skip anything. Don't say... I'm looking forward to Passover. That's when I'm going to be an Israelite. In the meantime, I'm just going to hang around and, and, and be amongst the brothers in the meantime. No. Build up to the Passover. Some brothers already have a uh, Passover. Some brothers already had their Purim. Now you want to ask me, well, why is yours on a different date? Did you do Passover? <laughs> right, right. Think like that. Right. All right. We spend all day on the clubhouse application commanding people to keep these commandments while they arguing with us why you ain't got to do it. It don't make no sense, all right? It don't matter where you at. Give me Judges 5 and 11. Come. It doesn't matter where you are. It's the book of Judges, chapter 5 and verse 11. Read. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of drawing water, mm -hmm. there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. That what you're supposed to do. Rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Right. Okay? Let's scoot over some. Get in the center. That's what you're supposed to do. Rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Right. Don't matter where you at. The Lord said the earth is ours. He made the earth for our sake. So everywhere we... And he told Joshua, everywhere you put your foot is yours. So that means our land is everywhere we at. That's why you keep the feast no matter where you at. Stop trying to be creative to figure out how not to enjoy yourself serving the most high. It don't make sense anymore. These arguments are outdated and weak, man. And we don't want to hear it no more, especially 
dealing with this day at Nicanor. It's nine o'clock. I'm going to get to it. This lesson is reading, but it's deep, man. It's, it's, it's captivating. All right. What we want to do now is we want to thank uh, the members of our channel, Gad the Warrior. All right. Kanaya, SOT Warrior, Mayaka Allah, SOT Josiah, Tony Revels, not Sister Natiza. All right. Masterpiece, Brother Ariel. All right, Stephanie Yasharala. All right, uh, Dante Morton, a new member. Shalom, 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 shalom. 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 All right, um, Soldier Kowal, what's up, King? Um, that's it for right now. We're gonna get back to these comments, and then we're gonna shout everybody out. The early adopters that come onto the class early. Thawada, big mind for the uh, beautiful donation. Th uh, Thawada King. Now we want to. If you want to be a member of the YouTube, you're gonna get specific perks like access to our events, uh, access to our Patreon uh, live streams. We will make a way for you as being a member of our channel. Um, if you want to um, uh, get a special uh, acknowledgement on our social media, all you got to do is email us. And as a member, we're doing that for you. All right. So you support us. We support you. And whatever you got going on, discounted advertisement when you want to show your business on our channel. These are all things that come uh, with being a member of the YouTube. You support us. We support you. Khan, all, all right. right. So uh, our first sponsor this month, all right, we want to shout out the Truth of Yah board game. All right, this is the second renewal for uh, sponsoring the Sons of Thunder Israelites. Uh, we appreciate them. As they support the camp, we support them. Kwam Yasha Allah, and uh, away we go. Yo, this game right here is fire, bro. I got you, <laughs> Whoever know the uh, who make this, DM me, bro, so I can yeah, shout them out. This you, game bro. right here is Fire. Call your family, call your friends, and come and play a game where we all see you 30 in. In the truth of y'all, it's a game that you can get in called the truth of y'all. So what you waiting for, come get it, it's the truth of y'all. Learning the Bible, never been more engaging, increasing biblical knowledge, never felt so amazing. Renewing minds and saving lives all while chasing justice, equity, and truth that is unshaken. It's the truth of y'all. Come and get it, we can play, it's the truth of y'all. If you have not ordered the on board yet, click link in the bio. ASAP is our website, truthyguy.com. Shalom. All right, Kwam Yasha Allah. All right, those brothers um, sent us uh, some t shirts that go with that game. It also comes with a card game called Whoa in the pack. It's very nice. Um. I believe I believe it comes with the card game. Whoa, when you buy the bundle, I, I'm not sure. They'll they'll let you know when you reach out to them. All right, just truthofyah.com and get that board game. Uh, 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 Brother Dom was telling us that it's it's very good to make you sharp with the scriptures, especially if you're new in this thing. It's going it's going to get you sharp quick. All right, it's made very well. Now our Patreon, make sure that you support our Patreon. Okay, we have exclusive videos and and a content on there. Uh, this month. I think we had uh, my conversation with WAC 100, my rebuke of WAC 100. Right. And also this month we put out a comment, uh, a commentary of a young Muslim brother who doesn't believe that our way is the right way. OK. And we had to show him what the deal is. Let me get that on the screen for y'all. Let me get that on the screen for y'all. Okay, there we go. Okay. So this month, you get new access to our spiritual battle with a Muslim named Shadid, who is a black Muslim, but subscribes to Orthodox Islam. And we, and I believe Dom, you was in that conversation. We trying to bring that brother out of that. It's a must hear uh, all the facts and history that comes out in that conversation. Priest Daniela is on there. Brother Yabasap of Ram Gadol, uh, Brother Ariala of Sakari is in this uh, conversation. It's something that you got to hear, all right? Only on our Patreon, all right? Uh, also up there, you get exclusive videos. If you join uh, the top tier, you get access to our events, and we're going to send you some uh, swag. Um, what else can I say about the Patreon? Brothers is working diligently to constantly make content for that. And we have a repository of, of links that we use for information and sources on there. And uh, portals that we access for books on there. So make sure y'all join our Patreon. We we constantly updating it, and we're gonna put a whole bunch of PDFs up there of books that we have that we can share with you 
uh, going forward. It's just going to get bigger and bigger as a library. It's something you want. You want to join the Patreon? It's just SOT Israelites. Patreon.com, SOT Israelites. So without further ado, let's get to the word of the Lord, man. That's right. Okay. Um, let me see what the Israelites is talking about in these comments, man. Ashar Shabbat Malak Yawasat. The game is called Truth of La of Yah, Sister Leia. Shalom Gad the Warrior. All right. There it is. He, he put it up there for everybody. Yeah, truth okay. All right. So as we wait for more brothers to show up, they out and about. The weather hasn't been too inviting in Atlanta. It was very windy today. All the furniture on my back porch got thrown everywhere. I had to go hunt it out of my neighbor's yard, man. The most high. Who could stand before the most high's power, man? The water Pacifica beauty. Nobody could stand before the most high's power. Uh, uh. But that's what this lesson is about. It's going to show you that the most high take that power and he puts it on his men. He puts it on his servants to execute judgment upon the heathen. That's right. All right. And we're going to read that tonight. We're going to start you out with 2 Maccabees chapter 7. This is heavy. If you haven't heard this before, put the kids to bed. This is heavy. This is rated R. If you mm. haven't heard this before. That's right. Okay. Let's go to it, Doc. God. It's the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 7 and verse 1. It came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken and compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh and were tormented with scourges and whips. So now the heathen is, we're in a Roman Greek captivity. The heathen is forcing us to eat swine's flesh. Right. When you go into the history Pork was a part of all of their rituals. They 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 love to eat pork even to this day, but now you do it, Israelite. Matter of fact, when we try to tell you not to eat pork, you fight us. Yes. There was a time they had to beat you to make you eat that filthy beast. Read on. Verse 2. But one of them that spake first. Yeah, I got precepts. Let's call it out. But one of them that spake first said thus, what wouldst thou ask or learn of us? We are ready to die rather than to transgress the law of our fathers. And that's the spirit we're trying to get back to. I'd rather die than break the commandments. Right. Now, y'all would rather die than keep the commandments. We got to fight with you and carefully explain to you why you got to keep the why? commandments, that's, man. That's crazy. That's all of our conversations. Now, Every time. That's all we talk about, why you got to keep these laws. And then they arguing with us why they don't have to. Don't have to. And then it's a big debate for four hours when there was a time... You would rather die than break God's laws. Right. Read. Verse 3. Then the king, being enraged, commanded pans and cauldrons to be made hot. A cauldron is a big cauldron. wok. It's a big wok. Come on. Which forthwith being heated, he commanded to cut out the ton of him that spake first. And? And to cut off the uttermost parts of his body. They, they castrated him. Come on. And rest of his brethren and his mother looking on. And they did that in front of his family members, man. This is this is what you're listening to, all right? I told you this was rated off, all right? If you squeamish and you weep, this is not for you. Go ahead. Now, when he was thus maimed and all his members, he commanded him being yet alive to be brought to the fire and to be fried in the pan. They're going to fry this man alive. I, wow. I, I don't like pain. All right? Nobody should. Right. I don't like to make uh, saute food in the kitchen. I don't want to do it because the grease pop and hit me. Yeah. Yeah. God. They're going to fry you alive. A lot of y'all would have ate that pork, man. Read. Right. And as the vapor. That's that bacon, bro. <laughs> A lot of y'all, man. Yeah, God. And when I teach you, I teach myself. Because I have to. This make you gird up your loins and think, damn. What am I going to do? They just cut my brother's tongue out and they're looking at me and they got a hot pan over there yep. and they're going to lay me in it. Right. I'm not going to die right away. Yep. This is about to hurt. I might die of shock. I'm not going to die right away. No. What I got to do? Tough. Eat this pork. Right? Uh -huh. These brothers wasn't going for it and it, it's, a, it's a gut check. Read. Uh -huh. And as the vapor of the pan was for a good space dispersed, they exhorted one another with the mother to die manfully, saying thus. Come on. The Lord God looketh upon us, and in the truth had comfort in us. As Moses in his song, which witnessed to their faces, declared, saying, And he shall be comforted in his servants. Come on. So when the first was dead after this manner, they brought the second to make him a mocking stop. Now they killed your brother, and now it's your turn. First they're going to clown you. 
because you, you're peeing on yourself, and I know you're scared. Read. And when they had pulled off the skin of his head. What did they do to him? They pulled off the skin of his head. Why are we reading this first? Because Nick and Noah is not specifically mentioned in this. You need to understand the climate right. of the world. Okay? Read. With the hair, they asked him, wilt thou eat before thou be punished throughout every member of thy body? And we're going to rip your fingernails out, then cut the finger off. Then we're going to break your arm backwards the wrong way. And then your knees us next. Then we're going to castrate you. They done ripped your scalp out. That's tough. Read. Verse 8. But he answered in his own language. In the Hebrew. And said, no. Uh -huh. Wherefore, he also received the next torment in order as the former did. So they did everything they did to the prior brother to, to, him. Him. to him. Come on. And when he was at the last gasp, he said, thou like a fury take us, take us, us out of this present life. But the king of the world shall rise us up who have died for his laws unto everlasting life. They prophesying about Christ in his spirit. That's right. They don't even know that. Mm. They don't even know why they said that. Read. After him was the third made a mocking stock. And when he was required, he put out his tongue. And that right soon holding forth his hands manfully. Mm -hmm. And he said courageously, these I had from heaven. And for his laws, I despise them. I, I, I got these from heaven. God gave me this. Mm -hmm. But for God's laws, I despise I them. Right. Who taught that? Who taught if your eye offendeth, pluck it out? Yeah, was Christ. Yes, it is. Huh? That's how we know that this is in the spirit. Read on. And from him, I hope to receive them again. In so much that the king, that they, that they were with him, marveled at the young man's courage. For that he nothing regarded his the pains. So he ate that. Mm -hmm. That's with the helping spirit. It's a lucky. When, when you finished that, when he read that verse 11, that made you know that he understood that he would be reborn again. Too. Yeah. You see that? Up, yeah. In the regeneration. Yeah. I'm going to be back mm -hmm. to execute vengeance upon the heathen yeah. and yeah. punishments on the people. Yeah. This honor have all the saints. That's right. And you don't yeah. understand why we mad. Y'all think we full of hate. But this is how we have been treated all throughout history, even into this very day, man. Our people have been tortured, shot, killed, and made a mocking stock. Right. And you don't understand why we furious. You're going to learn. Read. Verse 13. Now, when this man was dead also, they tormented and mangled the fourth in like manner. Come on. So when he was ready to die, he said thus, it is good being put to death by men. To look for hope from God, to be raised up again by him, as for thee. Thou shalt have no resurrection to life. So you have no hope, but I do. Mm -hmm. It's a you 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 have nothing to look forward to, but I, do. but I do. Read on. Afterward, they brought the fifth also and mangled him. It's the fifth brother. What if you the seventh brother? Yeah. Your time is coming, yeah, man. Yeah, you know what's coming. Your time is gonna show. Read. Afterward, they brought the fifth also and mangled him. Then looked he unto the king and said, Thou hast power over men. Thou art corruptible. Thou doest what thou wilt. Mm -hmm. Yet think not that our nation is forsaken of God, but abide a while. And behold his great power, how he will torment thee in thy seed. After him also they brought the six, who being ready to die said, Be not deceived without cause, for we suffer these things for ourselves having sinned against our God. Therefore, marvelous things are done unto us. Brother blamed himself for what's happening to him right now. This that's, is another cut. That's mighty. Y'all like to say that there's going to be a certain Edomite somewhere that's going to make it. Yeah. There's a certain heathen somewhere. You ain't met him yet, but you're hunting for him. He's going to make it. So you can be in the kingdom with your lover. That's what you want. Right. That's what you're hunting for. This brother ain't do anything wrong and is about to die for the truth of God. And for the laws of God, and he's still blaming himself, even though he didn't do nothing wrong. That's so what is he crazy. saying? It's my nation. It ain't nothing to do with me as an individual. So how come he's ready to die, but you trying to save some fantasy individual heathen when it's really what they nation did, which is supposed to bring their judgment? Right. That's why y'all say the way y'all y'all say the Israelites' ways are not equal. It's your ways that are not equal. Mm -hmm. Read on, man. Verse seventeen. Oh, Slaki. Verse eighteen. After him also, they brought the six who be ready to die, said, I was lucky, I think I read that one already. Come on. Verse 19. But think not that thou hast taken in hand to strive against God, 
that thou shalt escape unpunished. This is how you're supposed to read, by the way. This is how you're supposed to read. I can understand him. He's loud. He's not shy. And he's moving through the scriptures, but it's clear. All right? Read it again. Verse 19. But think not thou that takest in hand to strive against God, that thou shalt escape unpunished. You're not get Esau, you cannot get away. Right. You got you to gotta live with that. Read on. But the mother was marvelous above all. And this is a woman. Come on. And worthy and honorable memory. Worthy of honorable memory. Right. For when she saw her seven sons slain within the space of one day. This is not you today, Eve. Eve, you telling your son, you better eat that pork. Yes, right. yes, you would. Don't you hurt my baby. Yes, you would. Go on and eat that. And let that man hurt you. That's what you're saying. That's not what she's saying. Read it. She bear it with a good courage. Right. Because of the hope that she had in the Lord. Come on. Yay. She exhorted every one of them in her own language, mm -hmm. filled with courageous spirits and stirring up her woman's thoughts. She stirred up her feminine thoughts. Yeah. With a manly stomach. But from a masculine approach of protection and austerity. Mm -hmm. So she didn't get outside of her zone. Right. What the Bible is making is a. Her womanish thoughts is, I want to love my babies and I want to protect them. I don't want nothing to happen to them. Yeah. Right, yeah. But the manly stomach or the what we would have to have, the loins we would have to gird off, mm -hmm. this must come to pass. And she accepted it. Wow. Read on. I cannot tell how you came into my womb, for I neither gave you breath of life, neither was it I that formed the members of every one of you. But doubtless the creator of the world who formed the generation of man and found out the beginning of all things will also of his own mercy give you breath and life again mm. as ye now regard not your own selves for his law's sake do not the scripture say who he who shall lose his life shall gain it yeah yes. oh, you save it you'll lose it i'm reading the apocrypha y'all try to tell me that this is not don't don't deal with this mm -hmm. right. but this is in line with how to apply them scriptures that you love so much right read on now antiochus thinking himself despised and suspecting it to be a reproachful speech, whilst the youngest was yet alive, did not only exhort him by words, but also assured him with oaths that he would make him both a rich and a happy man. Here we go. If he would turn from the laws of his fathers and that he would also take him for his friend and trust him with affairs. That's, that's what y'all want. Mm -hmm. This is why we argue with you all day at camp. This is why we argue with you all day on YouTube in the comments and on Clubhouse because y'all want to be friends yes. with these people, but you hate your brothers. And so, Lucky, that also shows you Esau's tactics and how they get the rich and famous of our people yes. to push their agenda right. and prop them up. They offer them these gifts and say, hey, if you turn on your people, hey, if you follow what we're trying to put out into the earth, mm -hmm. hey, we can make you a rich man. We can make you a rich woman. We can make you famous. And what right. our people do? Yeah. Do it. Eat it up. Be a Take it. You fold. Read. But when the young man would in no case hearken unto him. But I, I won't fold. The king called his mother and exhorted her that she would counsel the young man to save his life. Now the king said, well, hold on. You're embarrassing me. Y'all yeah, 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 yeah. are supposed to be afraid of me. Right. I'm looking stupid out here. I just ripped his scalp off. Why are you not scared of me? That's all I got is the fear that I can put in you. Right. Or what is the point of me being king? Her. That's Esau's mind. You understand that? That's bothering him. Mm -hmm. It ain't the fact that I can do whatever I want. I got dominion. It's you won't bow to me, man. That shake me. my hand spirit. Mm -hmm. right. That yeah. shake my yeah. hand spirit is coming from that bow to me spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, Esau, you don't shake his hand, he turn red, he yeah, get mad. Get yeah. Now we just finished fighting. I don't want to deal with you, you damn heathen. You'll shake my hand. No, no, he's gonna shake my head like that's yo. You acknowledge me, right? That's what he's going through. It's like the precept. Yeah. Uh, Matthew ten and verse twenty eight. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, mm. but rather fear him which is able to destroy both right. soul and body in hell. That's, that's, right. that's right. That's who you're supposed to be afraid of, and that's who they fear, and that's why they will not flex their values. Read on. And when he had exhorted her with many words, she promised him that she would counsel her son. But she bowed herself toward him, laughing the cruel tyrant to scorn, <laughs> spake in her country language on this matter. Oh, my son, 
have pity upon me that bear thee nine months in my womb. She's saying this in Hebrew. They don't even know what she's saying. Right, right, Read. right. And gave thee suck three years and nourished thee and brought thee up unto this age and endured the troubles of education. Mm -hmm. I beseech thee, my son, look upon the heaven and the earth mm -hmm. and all that is therein and consider that God made them of things that were not. And so was mankind made likewise. Come on. Fear not this tormentor. Say what? Fear not this tormentor. Come on. But being worthy of thy brethren, take thy death, mm. that I may receive thee again in mercy with thy brethren. I will live again, son. Don't let me down. God. You can take it too, just like your brothers. I raised real men. I raised God. Hebrew, God. mighty Israelite sons. Yeah, that's right. Indeed. Read. While she was yet speaking these words, the young man said, whom wait ye for? What's, what's taking so long? Right. I will not obey the king's commandment, but I will obey the commandment of the law that was given unto our fathers by Moses. What's the difference between you and these brothers? And you got to look in the mirror every day. That's good. When you wake up tomorrow, you got to look yourself. When you're washing your face, am I built like this? Mm -hmm. But I want to teach, though. Am I built like this? I'm all in the comments on Facebook oh, arguing. Yeah. Heavy. Arguing. I don't come to camp nowhere, but I'm arguing. Mm -hmm. But you got to look in the mirror. Is this you? Precept. Go ahead. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and, and I will give thee a crown of life. That's right. And I believe him. God. Read. That's Christ. Man. And thou, that thou hast been the author of all mischief against the Hebrews, shall not escape the hands of God. For? For we suffer because our sins. See, the, the, it, these is mighty men that's 10 times thousand more righteous than you, but they still can acknowledge their offense, and they're taking it for the team. Mm -hmm. right. They're not just necessarily talking about their individual stuff. They're saying we all do we, that. We and y'all looking. Okay. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> and though the living Lord be angry with us a little while for our chastening and correction, Yet shall he be at once again with his servants. At one again. At one again with his servants. He's going to be at peace with us again or in union with us. We shall be one with the Most High. That's and right. Christ came to make that happen. Right. He said, make them one with me as I am one with you. That's right. And the same glory. Right. Y'all don't understand why Christ yeah, came. Yeah. They have no concept. <laughs> you don't know how to use, apply, or, or approach the concept of Yahweh. Yeah. You don't know why there's a Christ. Y'all don't know how to apply his teachings. You made him an adversary to God. Right, right, Y'all right, are right. bugged out. Read, read, read. But thou, O godless man, and of all other most wicked, be not lifted up without a cause, mm -hmm. nor puffed up with uncertain hopes, lifting up thy hand against the service of God. Mm -hmm. For thou hast not yet escaped the judgment of Almighty God. You can't. Who you, see you can't get away. No. Uh, Go ahead. Who seeth all things. For our brethren, who now have suffered a short pain, are dead under God's covenant of everlasting he called life. It a, he called it a short pain. They ripped this man's scalp right, off right, and, right. Short pain. and right. fried him in a pan. He called it a short pain, bro. I don't. I, I stepped on a wine glass and it cut my foot the other day. I was down for the count, bro. That was game for me. <laughs> I mean, I took it like a champ, but I was hurt. All right, my frown was upside down. Man was in here crying. Hey, listen, brother. <laughs> listen, don't do that to me. Read on, man. But thou, through the judgment of God, shall receive just punishment for thy pride. Yeah, you're gonna pay. Okay. Read. But I, as my brethren, offer up my body and life for the laws of our fathers, beseeching God that He would speedily be merciful unto our nation, and that thou, and that thou, by torment and plagues, mayest confess. That he alone is God. And that's what you're going to do. Zechariah mm -hmm. uh, 14 chapter said, we're going to be sending plagues on you. Revelation 11, I believe, said we're going to send them up as often as we want. Wow. If y'all don't come up to tabernacles, y'all going to die from famine. That's oh, one yeah. of the plagues. Yeah. <laughs> Straight like that. <laughs> Where these heathens at, man? Sun about to go down. Oh, oh. Egypt didn't come? Right. Are they okay. going, they're going back to ben. Nefertiti and all of that? Ben. Close the sky. Uh -huh. No rain. Yeah. Crops dying. Yeah. Oh, here you come now. Here you come. Now your, your stomach who, is eating itself. Who, who's God? Right. Yahweh. So what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. They're going right. to confess, man. The Bible got it. It's yeah. all here. Right. You just got to link it together. Go ahead. 
and that in me and my brethren, the wrath of the Almighty, which is justly brought upon our, all our nation, may cease. Then the king, being enraged. Now he's hot because that speech was fire. Yeah, was. He don't understand it, but everybody with you is like, yeah, God, right? Mm -hmm. People are supposed to be demoralized from what they're watching, but the people is getting stronger in the spirit. Yeah, in the spirit. So now he's mad. He's emotional. Read. Handled him worse than all the rest and took it grievously that he was mocked. Come on. So this man died undefiled and put his whole trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Last of all, after the sons, the mother died. Let this be enough now to have spoken concerning the idolatrous feast and the extreme torture. That's enough. We're not going to talk about that anymore. Now, you Please understand? Do you understand the world we was in? Uh, and you got to understand what's about to happen now because we got brothers that's going to stand up and fight like the Judas, Yahweh, the Maccabah. Maccabees meaning hammer. Maccabah meaning hammer because he threw hammer-like blows in the battlefield. Right? Some people... Uh, speculate that he fought with a, a, a broad hammer and that's a shield breaking weapon. Right. All right. When you look at medieval time, no yeah, you look at medieval time of uh, uh, warriors that fought in the Coliseum. If the man fought with a hammer, he wasn't trying to sword play with you. Right. All right. He was going to do a fantastic spin that you can't block. And if you get hit with that hammer, your head's going to explode. Right. Mm -hmm. Or your, all your ribs are going to be crushed and you down anyway. Or I'm going to break your leg or your tibia bone and right. you're down. Right. Then I'm going to splash you with the hammer. Yeah, right. I'm trying to finish this in two moves. Yeah, right. You understand? Yeah. Now now take a brother fighting like that and put the spirit of the Lord on him. Oh, man. It's, 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 oh, it's, the people are fleeing in fear. We're about to see. Go ahead. Kind of okay. Now, let's go to 1 Maccabees chapter 7. All right. Now, some people will say the account of this changes from 1st Maccabees to 2nd Maccabees, and they present it like it's a problem. But what you must understand that Maccabees is history. So Kings and Chronicles is a retelling of the same thing for the most part. And even they differ from each other because there's a different scribe. Okay? It's going to be the same way. Okay? Um, we're going to talk about the players now, before you get this, go to 2 Maccabees chapter 14 and go to verse 1. You're just going to learn a little bit. Second Maccabees chapter 14 and verse 1. After three years was Judas informed that Demetrius, the son of Seleucus, having entered by the, by the haven of Trip. Tripolis, with a great power and navy, had taken the country and killed Antiochus and Lysias, his protector. Now, this is not Antiochus Epiphanes. Right. Antiochus Epiphanes was from Feast of Dedication. This is a different Antiochus. Go to 1 Maccabees 7 now. Go to 1 Maccabees 7. So we're going to go back and forth. I'm going to try to make this easy to understand. Okay. Sister Natiz, I said I shared that glory tear. Uh, <laughs> like Denzel, when yeah. he's getting whooped. Uh, he ate that. So 1 Maccabees 7, read verse 1. 1 Maccabees chapter 7, verse 1. In the hundred and one and fiftieth year, Demetrius, the son of Seleucus, departed from Rome and came up with a few men unto a city of the sea coast and reigned there. And, and as he entered into the palace of his ancestors, so it was that his forces had taken Antiochus and Lysias to bring them unto him. Where, wherefore? Wherefore, when he knew it, he said, let me not see their faces. So his host slew them. That's Antiochus that died. The Antiochus in chapter 14 we're going to read about is a different man. Okay. Read on. Now when Demetrius was set up on the throne of his kingdom, there came unto him all the wicked and ungodly men of Israel, having Alcimus, who was desirous to the high, to be high priest for their captain. So now you have all the coons of Israel, right, right. all you sellouts, yep. and you got your own king that you anointed. Mm -hmm. That was Alcimus. He wanted to be high priest, but they had to depose the priest that was there mm -hmm. and set him up. Read on. And they accused the people to the king. And y'all snitched and, yeah. and, and backbit us. Oh, wow. 
Come on. Saying, Judas and his brethren have slain all thy friends and driven us out of our own land. And that's talking about Judas Maccabees. Okay. Your greatest hero gave his life for the nation and say he was a savior. Oh, yeah. yeah. And look what the thanks he get. That's why nobody want to do nothing for you, Israel. You know, it's a hard job being a teacher for y'all, man. Because yeah. y'all turn on your own teachers that do anything for you. Of course. It's always happened. Read. Now, therefore, send some men whom thou trustest and, and let him go and see what havoc he hath made among us and in the king's land and let him punish them with all them that aid them. Then the king chose Bacchus, a friend of the king who ruled beyond the flood and was a great man in the kingdom and faithful to the king. Mm -hmm. And him he sent with the wicked Alcimus. Whom, the, whom he made high priest and commanded that he should take vengeance of the children of Israel. So? So they departed and came with a great power into the land of Judea, where they sent messengers to Judas and his brethren with peaceable words deceitfully. So now y'all going to fake like y'all are brothers. Mm -hmm. You know, invite us to come talk to you right. and uh -huh. then ask us how we came up and what we've been right, through. Right, and then right. we, we talk to you, you turn on us and right. try to make an example of us because you love the heathen the most. Right. Y'all have always existed, man. Go ahead. But they gave no heed to their words, but they saw that they were come with a great power. Mm -hmm. Then did they assemble unto Alcimus and Bacchus a company of scribes to require justice. Now the Assidians. What's an Assidian? Assidian is like saying Hasidic. Today, when you think of Hasidic Jew, you think of Esau. Mm -hmm. But what that word really means is uh, pious or zealous. Mm -hmm. A Hasidian or Assidian in the Latin. Okay? Mm -hmm. you should write, write this down. All right, go ahead. Go on. Um, we're the first. Verse 13. Now the Assyrians were the first among the children of Israel that sought peace of them. Mm -hmm. For said they, one that is a priest of the seed of Aaron is come with this army, and he will do us no wrong. So now they see Alcimus as an uh, actual seed of, of Israel, of the Levitical priesthood. Yeah. So coming from Aaron and Moses, that's how they see this brother. Wow. So, you know, Aaron is rolling over in his grave, man, because you're... This one of your grandsons is wicked like this. Yeah. And that's how we should feel. All you brothers that's claiming a tribe when you going off, you disappointing your forefather like that. And that's your that's your offspring oh, there. That's true. Think about it. Read. Okay. Verse 15. So he spake unto them peacefully, so like it peaceably, and swear unto them, saying, We will pro procure the harm neither of you nor your friends. Whereupon they believed him. Howbeit he took of them three score men and slew them in one day, according to the words which he wrote. The flesh of thy saints have they cast out, and their blood have they shed round about Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. Yes, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, who slaughtered the prophets, man. Right. Come on. Wherefore the fear and dread of them fell upon all the people who said, There is neither truth nor righteousness in them. For they have broken the covenant and oath that they made. Mm -hmm. After this, removed Bacchus from Jerusalem and pitched his tents in Bezeth, where he sent and took many of the men that had forsaken him and certain of the people also. And when he had slain them, he cast them into the great pit. <laughs> then committed he the country to Alcimus and left with him a power to aid him. So back of this went to the king. Look at your nation. Wow. No order. Right. Backbiters. Right. No natural affection for their own brother. Killers of their own prophets and teachers. What's changed? Yeah. Are we still the same people to this day? I'm teaching you the same lesson. This is old. You must grow. Read. But Alcimus contended for the high priesthood mm -hmm. and unto him resorted all such has troubled the people, and who, after they had gotten the land of Judah into their power, did much hurt in Israel. Now when Judas saw all the mischief that Alcimus and his company had done among the Israelites, even above the heathen. Now this is what the Christians all they care about right there. 
Y'all was wor- y'all don't want the heathens to make it, yeah. but y'all was worse than the heathens. Yeah, they, they were for that. That's not in the right context because Judas was righteous. Right. So basically, what y'all saying is because some of y'all was wicked, all Esau could be saved. Cause that's who you focused on. Okay. Look at your logic. You don't even understand what's behind the words you're using to make your points. This is how that happened. Esau set up the wicked of us, killed our mighty men, and gave us a fake high priest who has no good intention for the people. The same way y'all set up politicians over us that don't care about us. And then we get blamed for doing it to ourselves. See? Mm -hmm. Read on. Verse 24. He went out into all the coasts of Judea round about and took vengeance of them that had revolted from him so that they durst not, no more go first like it, so that they durst no more go forth into the country. One of the one like it. on the other side, when Alcimus saw that Judas and his company had gotten the upper hand and knew that he was not able to abide their force, he went again to the king and said all the worst of them that he could. So then we have starting to overcome in spite, and you still tearing. Instead of saying, damn, look at my brothers. I'm supposed to be with them. We the, we the top nation. I don't have to sell out to these guys because we can handle them, and we could be on top. Self-direct. Right. They don't want that. It's the same thing today. Read on. Then the king sent Nicanor. Who? Nicanor. This devil. Come on. One of his honorable princes. A man that bear deadly hate unto Israel. What did Nicanor have? Deadly hate, hate unto, unto Israel. Israel. Come on. With com- commandment to destroy the people. This is wow. a this is a nemesis that was rose up against us. Mm-hmm. Come on. So Nicanor came to Jerusalem with a great force, and sent unto Judas and his brethren deceitfully with friendly words. And y'all y'all can't just box. Yeah, nah. Uh-uh. Y'all gotta play yep. and lie and come with subtlety. Mm-hmm. And a gift to destroy our hearts first. Because y'all weak and you know you can't deal with us on a square circle, man. Right. Come on. Saying, let there be no battle between me and you. I will come with a few men that I may see you in peace. And y'all coons ate that. Mm -hmm. Y'all wish that was true so deadly. Like, no, he's good. He's good. Y'all can't hate every look at this guy. And then he's noble. He's got the horses. He's got the garments. Right. He's got the gold. He's got the caravan with him. No, I want to be with him. Probably. That's a white boy that loves us. Probably a pretty boy, too. Come on, young. I love him. Yeah. Y'all hate y'all full of hate. He all right. Right. That's yeah. y'all arguing with us when we like never trust thine enemy. Right. Yeah. Hey. Did the scripture say it? it So now we want to follow it, but we become the bad guy for following the scripture. Y'all got that hate in your heart. What what, what pastor? You're going to perish in that hate in your heart too. (laughs) Because somebody was evil to me. And we we reacted ourselves away. Read on, man. First Maccabees 7 and verse 29. He came therefore to Judas and they saluted one another peaceably. Come on. Howbeit the enemies were prepared to take away Judas by violence. Which? Which thing after it was known to Judas. I could feel it in the air. Mm -hmm. This ain't right. Mm -hmm. The handshake don't feel right. Right. Why Mm -hmm. you keep looking around? Right, right. Right. You understand? He knew it. Mm -hmm. You gotta read between the lines there. He said that thing became known to him. Why your hand move like that? What you mean mean by that? You You know what I'm saying? Come on. To wit, that he came unto him with deceit he was so afraid of him and would see his face no more. Nicanor also, when he saw that his counsel was discovered, went out to fight against Judas beside Kafar Salam Salama. Very good. Where there were slain of Nicanor's side about 5,000 men, and the rest fled into the city. And y'all got manhandled. Right. Murdered. And our own people was crying for y'all. Right. I know they was. Come on. After this, went Nicanor up to Mount Zion, and there came out of the sanctuary certain of the priests and certain of the elders of the people to salute him peaceably and to show him the burnt sacrifice that was offered for the king. And then here we come still trying to love this devil. Mm-hmm. Don't even know what he just finished doing. We Here come Massa. Let's make him a, let's, let's, let's welcome him. Let's make a feast. Come on. But he mocked them. 
and laughed at them and abused them shamefully and spake proudly and yeah. and swear his his wrath. Now he just got smacked down too. Mm -hmm. right. These are weak men. These are not warriors. Come mm -hmm. on. Saying, unless Judas and his host be now delivered into my hand, if ever I come again in safety, I will burn up this house. And with that, he went out in a great rage. And he threatened our, our place of worship. Come on. Then the priest entered in and stood before the altar in the temple, weeping and saying, Thou, O Lord, didst choose this house to be called by thy name and to be a house of prayer and petition for thy people. Come on. Be avenged of, his, of this man and his host and let them fall by the sword. Remember their blasphemies and suffer them not to continue any longer. Come on. So Nicanor went out of Jerusalem and pitched his tents in Beth Haran, where an host out of Syria met him. But Judas pitched in Adasa with 3,000 men, and there he prayed, saying, O Lord, when they that were sent from the king of the Assyrians blasphemed, thine angel went out and smote a hundred, fourscore, and five thousand of them. Mm. Even yeah. so, destroy thou this host before us this day, that the rest may know that he has spoken blasphemously against thy sanctuary and judge thou him according to his wickedness. So, so the 13th day, the what? The 13th, 13th day of the month Adar. That's this month. The host joined battle, but Nicanor's host was discomfited and he himself was first slain in the battle. And oh. of everybody that got murdered, you died first. Because you pointed your finger God. at the sanctuary of our Lord like you was going to do something right. and you've been weak. And our people was afraid of you for nothing. That's right. Because we're not supposed to be afraid of you. You could rip our scalps off, cut our extremities off, and burn us, and we're supposed to stand strong. That's right. Just like the three holy children, just yeah. like Daniel, just like Yahweh Shai. That's right. That's right. Read on. Now, when Nicanor's host saw that he was slain, they cast away their weapons and fled. And that's usually how it goes when the general or the yeah. uh the warlord of the battle falls. The men, the men lose uh, morale and desert. Come on. Then they pursued after them a day's journey from Adasa unto Gazira. Sound like Joab and them. God. Where they would pursue you, they would chase the troop. They would follow you. You try to get away. They nah. Joab chase you till sun up till sundown. Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. can't get away. <laughs> you should have never came against the children of Israel. You stupid, That's right? Yeah. That was his spirit. Mm -hmm. We've been mighty. God. We mighty right now, right. except we apply it differently. Now I'll go and stand on a field with protective gear on and run at somebody with all of my speed and collide with them, mm -hmm. right? And knock them across the air and then do that for two hours. Right. That's what football is. Right. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's a battle. Sport. And all of our brothers are out there doing it mm -hmm. against Esau 6'8". Offensive linemen grabbing him by the neck, moving him to get a sack, right? Because yeah. we've we been mighty. Yeah, when it comes to mano y mano, we do this. God. But we're applying it wrong. We're not doing it to save our people. We just do it for ourselves now. It's the wrong application. When we apply our strength to protect our nation, then we are unstoppable. Read on. Verse 45. Then they pursued after them a day's journey from Adasa unto Gezira, sounding an alarm after them with their trumpets. Come on. Whereupon they came forth out of all the towns of Judea round about and closed them in so that they, turning back upon them that pursued them, were all slain with the sword and not one of them was left. They body everybody. Come on. Huh. Afterwards, they took the spoils and the prey and, and smote off Nicanor's head. And? And his right hand. Didn't they take our brother's extremities? Yes, yes. Didn't they rip their scalps off? Yeah. Come on. Which he stretched out so proudly and brought them away and hanged them up toward Jerusalem. Y'all don't understand that. Y'all mm -hmm. y'all do not understand what it's going to take to get these nations in order. Y'all think it's going to look the quote, quote unquote white throne judgment. Yep. And then all the heathen is just going to be... Sesame, right, right. Sesame Street, right, right. tell me how to get. No, right, them heathens right. going to be mad that they earth don't look the way that they want it. Right. The heathens going to be surprised that you being exalted. Oh, yeah. And then as soon as you say, hey, you, 
Don't stand right here. Stand right there. He gonna say, who are you talking to? Y'all, they got a fantasy in their mind. To smack his jaw, off, man. Right. You're gonna have to. They, their kings have to be. Are their kings gonna walk with us and go where we take them? They have wow. to be brought in mm -hmm. what? Change, change. What is that teaching you? That you have to force them. Mm -hmm. And the, the nation that will not serve shall be brought because we're gonna have a, a rod of iron to break, break them into that. pieces. Because they're not gonna want to do it. And our brothers don't understand that. The world to come is going to be like this one. Just the, the laws of God is going to be the law of the land. Right. And instead of Esau's case, because Esau is in charge. Okay. He want to take your burial ground and run a pipeline. You can't stop it. He wants to wage war, remove a king, set up the one he wants. He does it on TV right, in front right. of you. Yeah, publicly. It makes a documentary out of it. And then you just watch it with popcorn like, mm, that's right. crazy. Yeah. Right? Because you're just going to go to work Monday. You, The exactly. world to come, the Israelites going to be in charge. Right. Those same people is not just going to lay down. Ah, it's your turn now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do y'all understand? Read on our uh, verse 48. For this cause, the people rejoice greatly. And you will be happy when the, when the righteous are in rulership. Right. Mm -hmm. And they kept that day a day of great gladness. Come on. Moreover, they ordained to keep yearly this day, being the 13th of Adar. And? Thus the land of Judah was in rest a little while. And we had rest, man. So that's why we're keeping the day of Nicanor today. That's right. Because our forefather said that what we're going to do. And we emulate and admire them. So we're going to keep the day of Nicanor. That's Everybody right. understand? That's right. It, don't think the day of Nicanor is a celebration for Nicanor. Right. right. It's the day Nicanor got murked. That's, That's right. the celebration. The Israelites had a celebration for slaughtering one of their enemies. You understand? Of course. That's what Passover is. Yes. Right. Do you understand? I, 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 I really, as time goes on, our people have no idea what's going on. Y'all, Like the elders always say, y'all don't know what's going on. Just leave him alone. He don't. He don't understand it. Mm -hmm. He don't know what's going on, right? That's that's because you don't get it. You you you're not really living in the reality that of this truth. So the the scriptures can't come alive to you. You understand? Let's go to Second Maccabees chapter fourteen. We move right along. We move swift. Just got to the ten o'clock mark. Just got to the ten o'clock mark. Second Maccabees chapter fourteen. Uh, read, Doc. God, it's the book of Second Maccabees chapter fourteen and verse one. After three years, Judas informed that Demetrius, the son of Seleucus, Seleucus, having entered by the, by the haven of Tripolis with a great power and navy, had taken the country and killed Antiochus. Uh, it's like, uh, Lysias. Lysias, his protector, now one, Alchemus, who had been high priest and had defiled himself willfully in the times of their mingling with the Gentiles. See, that's that. Now we read this already in First Maccabees. Now you're getting different details. See that Antiochus that died, right? That's the former. Now he, uh, uh, Slakia, that's a uh, Antiochus, uh, Europator that died, not Epiphanes, right here. Okay, that Antiochus is Antiochus Europator. All okay? right. First Maccabees 1 is Antiochus Epiphanes. Mm -hmm. That's the one who profaned the sanctuary in the first place. This is down the line, okay? Now you got Alcimus again. But look how they said. We told you that he was a coon, but what did he do? He willfully defiled himself by mingling with the heathen. Now, why are you teaching a trinity? Right. That's why you're teaching immaculate conception. That's why you're teaching ain't no laws. That's why you're teaching don't do no feast days. You done mingled with the heathen. You are the same thing. Don't, that's what we're trying to teach you. Come back to the way of our fathers. Read on now. Seeing, seeing that by no means he could save himself. And he only did it out of fear. Mm -hmm. See that? Just right. cowardice. Come on. Nor have any more access to the holy altar. Came to King Demetrius in the 101 and 50th year presenting unto him a crown of gold and a palm and also of the vows which were used solemnly in the temple and so that the day he held in his peace. Come on. How be it, having gotten opportunity to further his foolish enterprise and being called into counsel by Demetrius, 
and asked how the Jews stood afflicted, affected, and what they intended, he answered thereunto. Now remember, he gave a bad report of Judas Maccabees. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to hear it. Come on. Those of the Jews that be called Assidius, who captain Judas Maccabeus, nor should, nor should war, and are uh, seditious. seditious and will not let the realm be in peace. So first Maccabees told you that he gave an ill report and spoke against Judas Maccabees. That's mm -hmm. what he said. Okay. He said that damn captain, that Assidian, all right, he, he's causing the people to fight. Now, yeah, we know y'all some good people and they want to fight y'all. I don't like it. That Uncle Ruckus spirit, right, man. Right. Read on. Therefore, I, being deprived of my ancestors, honor, I, mean the high priesthood, am now come hither. And they don't let me be what I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be the high priest. Right. Mm -hmm. wow. Because they know that this is a damn cool. You're not fit. Right. Right? Right. But I, I'm supposed to be the high priest. So now he goes to the heathen to command that office. Read. First, verily, for the unfitting care I have of these things pertaining to the king, and secondly, even for I intend the good of my own countrymen, for all our nation is in no small misery through the unadvised dealing of them aforesaid. So, but the, and master, they making all of us unhappy, yep. fighting on y'all good white people. Right. <laughs> right. Now we just I, now make me the high priest, and I'm gonna teach the people to love y'all. Right. right. Come on. Wherefore, O king, seeing thou knowest all these things, be careful for the country and our nation, which is pressed on every side, according to the ceremony, clemency, clemency that thou readily showest unto all. Yes, because you're just so good. Remember this guy threatened mm -hmm. priests? Mm -hmm. Remember this guy put Bacchus in power who was killing men and throwing them in pits? Right. But all, But now he's just a good altruistic man? Right. That's a true. That's a true coon right there, boy. That's right. That's a true coon right there. That's a rare form coon right there. This is making me mad. Read. For as long as Judas liveth, it is not possible that the state should be quiet. This was no sooner spoken of him, but others of the king's friends, being maliciously set against Judas, did more intense Demetrius. Did more incense. M more incense Demetrius. So that now you just fuel in this heathen's anger. Come right. on. And forthwith calling Nicanor, what did he call Nicanor, Come on. who had been master of the elephants and making him governor over Judah, he set him forth, commanding him to slay Judas and to scatter them that were with him and to make Alchemist high priest of the great temple. Look at that. Did y'all see how that played out? Mm -hmm. Come on. Then the heathen that fled out of Judah from Judas came to Nicanor by flocks, thinking the harm and uh, uh, calamities. calamities of the Jews be the Jews to their welfare. Mm -hmm. Now, when the Jews heard Nicanor's coming and they and that, and that the heathen were up against them, they cast earth upon their heads and made supplication to him that had established his people forever and who always helped the portion with manifestation of his presence. So the people fasted and prayed, come on. So that the commandment of the captain, they removed straight ways from thence and came near unto the town of Desu. Now Simon, Judah's brother, had joined battle with Nicanor, but was somewhat discomforted through the sudden silence of his enemies. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, Nicanor, hearing of the manliness of them that were with Judas and the courageousness that they had to fight for their country do us not try the matter by the sword. Because Esau is a coward. Right. Why do you think he got all of his money into defense programs? Right. And all of his weapons are long range. Because he's a coward. He don't want to see you when he's blowing you up. Mm -hmm. He don't want to see. He don't. America is so bold to invade so many places. Like nobody going to parachute and land here one day. Right. You know, that's your... Your overlord. That's Esau's spirit. Come on. Wherefore, he said Poseidus and Theodos. Posidonius. Oh, Posidonius and Theodos and Matthias to make peace. Come on. So when they had taken long advertisement thereupon and the captain, he, the captain had made the multitude acquainted therewith and with appeared that they were of all one mind, they consented to the covenants and, and appointed a day 
to meet in, together by themselves. And? And when the day came and the stools were set for either of them. See, now, this is that meeting that they had where Judas realized, yeah, not going to make peace. Y'all trying to kill us here. Right, right. So what they did was they had a meeting and they put chairs out. So now you're going to walk out. The leaders are your men. It's just like a football game. The captains walk out and shake hands. Mm -hmm. Then the rules get exchanged and the team stays back, right? Mm -hmm. That's what this is. That's, that's what this is. Preparation for war or peace. Come on. Judas placed armed men ready in convenient places least some treachery should be suddenly practiced by the enemies. Never trust thine enemy. Yeah. Right. He got them ready. Yo, watch these devils. Esau is crooked. What's mm. crooked can't be made straight. Right. He's been hating since Genesis 25. Y'all yeah. right. stand over here. Y'all stand over there. Why we got to do it? Because, nah, they come in peace. Shut up. Right. Go over there and you go over there and watch these devils, man. Mm. You understand? Uh -huh. Read. So they made peaceable, they made a peaceable conference. Now Nicanor abode in Jerusalem and did no hurt, but sent away the people that came flocking unto him. Mm -hmm. And he would not will willingly have Judas out of his sight, for he loved the man from his heart. Come on. He prayed him also to take a wife to beget children. So he married, was quiet, and took part of his life. Wow. Come on. But alchemists, perceiving the love that was bewitched them and considering the covenants that were made, came to Demetrius and told him that Nicanor was not well affected towards the state. For he that had ordained Judas, a traitor to his realm, to be the king's successor. So now, <laughs> alchemists going to make sure we fight. Right. right? And he going to make sure ain't no peace. Now, this is, a, like I told you, the telling is slightly different. Mm -hmm. Because in the first one, there was just, yo, you treacherous, we're going to slide on these guys. Now, in this, it seemed like they was, they was cool. They had a moment of reasoning between them, like, yo, you a real warrior, bro. I respect right. that. Matter of fact, the women of Israel are beautiful. We got women, too. Got you one of these. We, hey, man, look, man, put the swords down. Y'all have y'all land, do y'all thing. Mm. But Alcimus knows that if Judas is in power, Judas is going to take him out. Because you don't deserve this power. You're right. wicked. Right. So what does he do? He tries to go over his head. Yeah. Read on. Then the king, being enraged and provoked with the accusations of the most wicked man, wrote to Nicanor. Who is the most wicked man? Alcimus. Because yep. he's one of your own. You understand? Uh, yep. How you want to be remembered for all time as the most, the most wicked most man? Wicked man. That's crazy. The biggest coon of all time. That's a, yeah. that's a, that's a reproach. That's worse than Judas. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, at least Judas repent. Bible yeah, say Judas yeah, repented. Yeah, he did. He did. He confessed. Right? Yeah. Now he wasn't supposed to kill himself, but the Bible says Judas repented of his deed. Mm -hmm. That's recorded. Read on. Wrote to Nicanor, signifying that he was much displeased with the covenants and the commanding him that he should be, that he should send Maccabeus prisoner in all haste unto Antioch. Come on. When this came to Nicanor's hearing. He was much confounded in himself and took it grievously that he should make void the articles which were agreed upon, the man being in no fault. Now, this is a different telling. Same events, different details, mm -hmm. different scribes, different perspective. Right. A bonehead would say this is a contradiction. Because they don't understand what they're looking at. Mm -hmm. This is history. If, if, the, if the scribes of the Maccabees didn't record it, who was going to record it? Right. Now, when you go into Josephus, and you go into the early uh, the early scribes, they believe that 2 Maccabees is the proper account. This is the one that should be uh, historically uh, uh, purported. This one. Okay? That's Josephus' opinion and some of the early writers. Read on. But because there was no dealing against the king, he watched his time to accomplish this thing by policy. So he, now he tried to do it politically. Mm -hmm. You know, make rules and let's get Judas out of here. We can't do it by just turning on him, let's let's do it technically and right. get him out of here. Come right. on. Notwithstanding, when Maccabeus saw that Nicanor began to be churlish with him unto him, and that he entreated him more roughly than he was wont, perceiving that such sour behavior came not of good, he gathered together not a few of his men and withdrew himself from Nicanor. So what did he do? He started, the scriptures is telling you here, now this goes with, uh, the, the the first Maccabees account, he started to notice that there was enmity coming from Nicanor. Right. Churlishly means Esau started to get proud. Yeah. 
familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah. So the more Esau got used to Jake, now this is a mighty man, but the more he got used yeah. to him, he started talking to Judas kind of flippant. Mm -hmm. And Judas said, I don't want to be spoken to that way. Mm -hmm. Right? So what he did was he said, I'm going to fall back. This is some sour behavior. And it's because you get neither jealous or you about to turn on me. Yeah. So I'm not going to try to make this right. Mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to fall back from you. Right? right? A wise man. Read on. But the other, knowing that he was notably prevented by Judas' policy, came into the great and holy temple and commanded the priests that were offering their usual sacrifices to deliver him the man. Come on. And when they swore that they could not tell what a man was whom he sought, he stretched out his right hand toward the temple and made an oath unto this manner. If ye will not deliver me, Judas, as a prisoner, I will lay this temple of God even with the ground. I will break down the altar and erect a noble temple unto Bacchus. 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 Right, that's where your Christmas come from. Mm -hmm. So now, Nicanor said, I'm ready to kill Judas now. So he went to the priest and said, deliver me Judas, because Alcim is supposed to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Right? And he said, if you don't, I'm going to burn this place down. That goes with the first Maccabees account. Right? right? We're starting right. to get back in sync. Read on. After these words were the he, after these words, he departed. Then the priests lifted up their hands towards heaven and besought him that was ever a defender of, the na of their nation, saying in this manner, Thou, O Lord of all things, who hath need of nothing, was pleased that the temple of thy habitation should be among us. Come on. Therefore now, O holy Lord of holiness, keep this house ever undefiled, which lastly was cleansed, and stop every unrighteous mouth. Come on. Now was there accused unto Nicanor of Rises. One. One Rises, one of the elders of Jerusalem, a lover of his countrymen, and a man of very good report, who for his kindness was called a father of the Jews. Now, he's got a good name for all time. Right. Now, we're about to learn about Brother Raziz. Read on. For in the former times, when they mingled not themselves with the Gentiles, he had been accused of Judaism and did boldly jeopard his body and life with all vehemency, vehemency for the religion of the Jews. Give me first Maccabees 321. Now, check this out. This brother Raziz put himself in mortal danger to keep the commandments. Ain't that what them brothers did? Yeah. They allowed themselves to die to keep the commandments. This is a man like unto them. Right. Okay. First Maccabees 3 and 21. This is how you're supposed to behave. When it comes to the laws of your God. Come on. First Maccabees chapter 3 and 21. But we fight for our lives and our laws. We fight for that, bro. Right. I'm going to put myself in mortal danger. He put his body in jeopardy boldly and his life with all vehemency, all his strength and energy for the religion of the Jews. Yep. So I fight for my life and my laws. And that's a priest. Moses was a priest. He would break you. Moses would kill you, man. No, if you get stupid, right? Read verse 39. So Nicanor, willing to declare the hate that he bare unto the Jews, sent above 500 men of war to take him. Come on. For he thought by taking him to do the Jews much hurt. So if I kill the head, the body will fall. Right. And that's where we have camps. Mm. Y'all brother's not just supposed to be in the camp. Mm. So if I, if your teacher fall off, your camp disappear. Uh -uh. It's supposed to be men underneath him trying to be the same man because he trying to be somebody he's not trying to be himself he trying to be a man of the lord that what you're supposed to be trying to be so if he falls there's one like him that stand right in the same spot read on our now when the multitude would have taken the tower and violently broken to the outer door and the bay that fire should be brought to burn it he being ready to be taken on every side fell upon his sword razi said look man I'm just going to fall on my sword. Okay? Read that again. Taking the tower and violently broke unto the outer door and the bay that fire should be brought to burn it. He being ready to be taken on every side fell up upon his sword. Give me um, 1 Samuel chapter 31. I don't know the precept. I know what it say. Follow it again. First Samuel chapter 31. I'm gonna find it before you do. Ma, first Samuel chapter 31, verse 4. You beat me. Very good, Art. Soldier Kaya. 
Now read verse 42 and, and where you at, and then you read that. God, verse 42, choose it rather to die manfully than to come into the hands of the wicked to be abused otherwise than but seeing his noble birth. These heathens going to violate you. Yeah. They're not just going to kill you. Yeah. Read that. First Samuel chapter 31 and verse 4. Then says Saul unto his armor bearer, draw thy sword and thrust me through therewith, lest these uncircumcised come and thrust me through and abuse me. They're going to abuse his body. And they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they they, they yeah, parted Saul. Said. So he said, look, man, just kill me now. Because if, if you don't kill me, they're going to rip my scalp off, break my fingers off, castrate me. These are the Philistines, too. They probably would have they'd have, they'd have did some gay stuff, gay stuff too. Right. Damn, doodle yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Real talk. Yeah. Yeah. So that's not a, a uncommon thing. Yeah. Go back. Verse 43. 40, verse yeah. 43. He did. God. But missing his stroke through haste. Now he tried to thrust himself through, but missed because mm. he was rushing. Mm. The multitude also rushing within the doors. He ran boldly up to the wall and cast himself down manfully among the thicket of them. So then he just ran up to the highest part of the, the temple and jumped down on them. Come on. Wow. But they quickly give him back and a space being made. He fell down into the midst of the void place. So they saw him falling and they cleared out and he hit the floor. Oh, Go ahead. Nevertheless, while there yet be breath within him, being inflamed with anger, he rose up and through his blood gushed out like spouse of water, and his wounds were grievous, yet he ran through the midst of the throng and standing up upon a steep rock, when, as his blood was now quite gone, he plucked out his bowels, and wow. taking them in yeah. both his hands, he cast them upon the throng, and calling upon the Lord of life and spirit to restore him, uh, restore those again, he thus died. And then he took, he, he tried to kill himself, but didn't make it, jumped down, didn't die. Mm. I'm a. I hate you, heathens. Himself. He already had done it. He he thrust himself through, but he didn't yeah. kill himself. All right. All right. Then he just grabbed his bowels out, Look got thirty out. feet of it, God, and geez. threw it on the people, and then died. And said, "The Most High gonna give me that back." Yo, that's Jesus. mighty. That's brother Raziz. Dang. Or brother Raziz. Yo, that is crazy. And we got to beg y'all to keep the commandments. Yeah, yeah. We got to fight with you to love your own people. <sighs> Read on. Uh, uh, no, drop that. You. Uh, 2 Maccabees 15, verse 1. Okay. Read good. This book is 2 Maccabees chapter 15 and verse 1. But Nicanor, hearing that Judas and his company were in the strong places about Samaria, resolved without any danger to set upon them on the Sabbath day. So he still wasn't done. Nevertheless, the Jews that were compelled to go with him said, Oh, destroy not so cruelly and barbarously, but give honor to that day, which he that seeth all things hath honored with holiness above other days. Then now, the what, what day is that? Time. It's, it's the Sabbath, Sabbath man. Sabbath. Yo, on the Sabbath, can you wait? Can we mm -hmm. fight tomorrow? Right. Yo, these brothers want to serve God, man. Time. Come on. Then the most ungracious wretch demanded, if there were a mighty one in heaven that had commanded the Sabbath day to be kept. And he said, is there even a God in heaven that called this day? Mm. Is wow. there even a reason for your Sabbath? Wow. Is there really a Yahweh? Oh, you understand? Gracious. Read on. And when they said, there is in heaven a living Lord and mighty who commanded the Sabbath day to be kept. Then said the other, and I also am mighty upon earth. And I command to take arms. And, and to do the king's business, yet he obtained not to have his wicked will done. Mm. So Nicanor, in exceeding pride and haughtiness, determined to set up a public monument. Public? Salakia, a public monument of his victory over Judas and them that were with him. But Maccabeus had ever, had ever sure confidence that the Lord would help him. Come on. Wherefore he exhorted his people not to fear the coming of the heathen against them, but to remember the help which in former times they have received from heaven, and now to expect the victory and aid which shall come which shall come unto them from the Almighty. And so comforting them out of the law and the prophets, and with all putting them in mind of the battles that they won before, he made them more cheerful. 
And when he had stirred up their minds, he gave them the charge, showing them therewithal the falsehood of them heathen, of the heathen, and the breach of oaths. Come on. Thus he armed every one of them, not so much with defense of shields and spears, as with comfortable and good words. And beside that, he told them a dream worthy to be believed, as if it had is Salaki, as if it had been so indeed, which did not a little rejoice them. Come on. And this was his and this was his vision that Onias, who had been high priest, a virtuous and good man, reverend in conversation, gentle in condition, well spoken also, and exercised from a child in all points of virtue, holding up his hands, pray for the whole body of the Jews. Come on. This done, in like manner, there appeared a man with gray hairs and exceeding glorious, who was of a wonderful and ex excellent majesty. Uh huh. Then Onias answered, saying, This is a lover of the brethren who prayeth much for the people and for the holy city, to wit, Jeremiah, the prophet of God. So he had a dream that Jeremiah popped up. Wow. But what happened when the people saw Yahweh Who did they think he was? They thought he was Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. They said, some say you Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. wow. Just to put that out there. Because who was this man mm -hmm. with this gray hair, woolly, white and woolly hair? Read on. Whereupon Jeremiah, holding forth his right hand, gave to Judas a sword of gold, and in giving it spake thus, Take this holy sword, a gift from God, with the which thou shalt wound the adversaries. Thus being well comforted by the words of Judas, which were very good, and able to stir them up to valor and to encourage the hearts of the young men, they determined not to pitch camp, but courageously to set upon them, and manfully to try the matter by conflict, because the city and sanctuary and the temple were in danger. So we're not going to wait. We're going to fight right now. He uh, said the words to inspire them to go to war right now. Right. Come on. For the care that they took of their wives and their children, their brethren and kinsfolks was in least account with them. But the greatest and principal fear was for the holy temple. Also, they that were in the city took not the least care being troubled for the conflict abroad. And now, when as all looked, what should be the trial? And the enemies were already come near, and the army was set in array, and the beasts conveniently placed, and the horsemen set in wings. Maccabeus seeing the coming of the multitude, and the diverse preparations of armor, and the fierceness of the beast stretched out his hands toward heaven, and called upon the Lord that worketh wonders, knowing the victory cometh not by arms, but even as it seemeth good to him. He giveth it so to such as are worthy. See, it doesn't matter how many people is in your battle. The Most High gives the victory to those who deserve it. Come. That's the same thing with Gideon. It had nothing to do with how many people went down to fight. Matter of Come. fact, if too many of y'all go, they will say you won because of the numbers and not because of God. Mm -hmm. So matter of fact, I only want 300 of y'all to go Come. so that they can say Yahweh gave us the victory. Right. Uh, uh, the book of Maccabees line up with everything I've ever been taught. Read on. Therefore, in his prayer, he said after this manner, O Lord, thou didst send thine angel in the time of Ezekiel, king of Judea, and didst slay in the host of Hezekiah. That's Hezekiah. Hezekiah. Hezekiah's kind, Salaki. King of Judea, and didst slay in the host of Sennacherib, Sin Sin the water, and a hundred fourscore and five thousand. Wherefore now also, O Lord of heaven, Send a good angel before us for a fear and dread unto them. Mm -hmm. And though the might of thine arm, let those be stricken with terror. So like it, and through the might of thine arm, let those be stricken with terror that come against thy holy people to blaspheme. And he ended thus. So what Nicanor do? Then Nicanor and they that were with him came forward with trumpets and songs. Mm -hmm. But Judas and his company encountered the enemies with invocation and prayer. So that fighting with their hands and praying unto God with their hearts, they slew no less than 30 and 5,000 men. For through the appearance of God, they were greatly cheered. Now when the battle was done, returning again with joy, they knew that Nicanor lay dead in his heart. I remember they told you in the prior version, it said that he was the first to die. Mm -hmm. So Nicanor is still dead here. He's, lay, he's in his harness. That means he's on his horse, linked over, mm -hmm. right? 
So he probably got hit with an arrow. Somebody well, just arched him. Just, yeah, I'm going to kill you. Mm. First things first, you're going to die. You, yeah. right? Somebody popped him as soon as things started. Come on. Then, so like it, then they made a great shout and a noise, praising the Almighty in their own language. And Judas, who was ever the chief defender of the citizens, both in body and mind, and who continued his love toward his countrymen all his life, commanded to strike off Nicanor's head mm -hmm. and his hand with, with his shoulder. They cut it, they cut him off here. The whole arm came off, Dang. right? And bring them to Jerusalem. So we had souvenir that we killed Nicanor. Right. Who got his head? Yo, right. yo, who got his head? Right. Right? right. I got the arm. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. that, that ain't Nicanor. Look at the bracelet. Oh, look at right. Right. <laughs> Get, brothers gotta think about it. They gotta envision it, because now they want us to just get killed by the police. We no shoe hands up. Get fired from your job. You didn't do nothing. All white people ain't bad. Karen spit on you in the in the in the in the Starbucks. Man, what? You better not react. We wasn't playing with these people, bro. You was not allowed to even disrespect us, man. Right. Read on. So when he was there and had called them of his nation together and set the priest before the altar, he sent for them that were of the tower and showed them bow Nicanor's head and the hand of the blasphemy. Remember he pointed at the temple and said, I'm going to burn this place. They took that arm. Which with proud brags he had stretched out against the holy temple of the Almighty. Come on. And when he had cut out the tongue of the ungodly Nicanor. That's for talking. He commanded that they should give it by... That they should give it by pieces unto the fowls. So what they did was they tore it up and they were throwing it to the turkeys and the chickens. God. Right? Let the kids do it. Hand it to the babies. God. Feed that God. to the chickens, man. God. What a mighty nation we were. Yeah, and we're going to go back to it. That's right. And y'all can't stop it. And the beginning of it is teaching our people the truth of these scriptures, man. That's the beginning. God. Okay? So it doesn't matter... How many videos you make about BHIs and all of that you're talking? Right. The most high is raising us up. There's nothing right. you can do. No, that's right. All right. It's nothing you can do. We don't know. And hang up the reward of his madness before the temple. So every man prays toward the heaven, the glorious Lord, saying, Blessed be, blessed be he that hath kept his own place undefiled. He hanged also Nicanor's head upon the tower. An evident and manifest sign unto all of the help of the Lord. Now, how many Christians today be like, oh, that's this, oh God, to take that down. It's disgusting. <laughs> you, you guys are heartless. <laughs> this is not of God. What? What scripture is that? Right. You understand? They never read the Chronicles, they never read Samuel, they never no. read Maccabees. They went straight to Christ mm -hmm. and they're glorying in how Christ was tortured. Right. Yeah. No one talks about Peter. You touched my man. He tried to take your head and missed and mm -hmm. cut your ear off, right? All they talk about is Christ putting the ear back yeah. as a commentary <laughs> to say Peter was wrong. Yeah, right. right. That's why they use it. When the commentary is Peter's not wrong, I must die. Right. And that's the only reason I'm doing this. Right. Because right. Christ already told you if this was my right. kingdom, my right. service would right. fight. That's right. That's right. This is this is Judea and the servants are fighting. That's, That's right. right. Right? That's right. Read on. And Let's they finish it up. And they ordained all with a common decree and no case to let that day pass without salt solemn, sol, solemnity. 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 Cut off the water. But to celebrate the 13th day of the 12th month, which in the Syrian tongue is called Adar, the day before Mordecai's day. Thus went, thus went it with Nicodemus. What's Mordecai's day? Perim. Why? Because um, that's when they got revenge on the uh, um, on uh, guy. Can nobody yeah. hear you? Come on. Oh no, I was trying to help him out. Okay. Yeah, H Haman, right? Come Doesn't on. matter. Come on, the, the 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 heathen. They got revenge on the heathen for putting out a decree to slaughter us. What nationality is Haman? It's a uh, Elamite. No. Elamite. no. Elamite. Next. Elamite. By way of Agagai. Who is Agag's the, child? The Macedonians. Which comes? The Greeks, which comes from Alexander. Alexander is an Agag guy. So now the Agag guys got destroyed by the Jews. Oh, no, they got the king. Now their children rose up to destroy the Jews. 
right? Right. Now we're celebrating the destruction of them same heathen. Right. Come. After destroying them again. Come. Right. See the see the way that worked out. Come. Mordecai's day right. is Purim, because Mordecai is the uncle of Esther. Mm -hmm. Read on. Thus went it with Nicanor, and from that time forth the Hebrews had the city in their power. And here will I make an end. So that whoever scribed this said, and that's it for me. Mm. Read on. And if I have done well, and as is fitting the story, it is that which I desired. But if slender slenderly and meanly, it is that which I could attain unto. If I did well and recall perfectly, that's what I wanted. But if I forgot anything... I did the best I could do. Mm -hmm. and that's what Maccabees is. It's a record. Y'all got to learn the difference between prophecy and a record. Right. Prophecy is thus saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. A record is a man like one of us writing this down. Mm -hmm. I have a printing press. I could buy this. What if this was handwritten and I got it from somebody? Now, what if Brother Dom wanted to go back and have this same record so that he could read it in his church. How is he going to do it? If he got to copy it. Has to be right. Has to be handy. Now Dom got to hurry up because he's leaving. Yep. No, you got to make them be yeah, quiet. Yeah. Oh, okay. It should be no talking on the call. Turn that up. Yo, somebody's having a whole conversation. Damn. I don't know how long that was going on. Come on, y'all. Pay attention to what y'all doing. Y'all need to learn this history. So like I was saying, somebody has to copy this down. Mm -hmm. Somebody copying it, number one, how you know we speak the same dialect? Mm -hmm. Right. right. How you know I'm not sitting here reading it to him and I didn't even know he wanted to copy it. He's writing as I'm talking. Right. What'd you say? Was the was his name? Right? right. Now he takes his copy and go back to his church. He tells the same thing. That's first Maccabees. Mm -hmm. That's that version. I got it's this version because I got this. Right? And that's how manuscript traditions are created. Y'all gotta learn that. So like, about your Bible. Go ahead. This also just shows you how honest the scriptures are because he's literally just telling you, yo, I did the best I could. With this account. Right. With this account. Uh -huh. And we don't have just one account. That's another thing. Mm -hmm. Y'all are focused on that they don't say the same thing. They not supposed to because then it would be the same account twice. Mm -hmm. You have two witnesses to the same events with different details in each. Uh -huh. That should build your faith, not bring it down. Read on that. Verse 39. Verse 39. For yeah. as it is hurtful to drink wine or water alone, and as wine mingled with water is pleasant and delighteth the taste, even so speech finely framed delighteth the ears of them that read the story. And here shall be an end. So you got to speak well, man. So y'all brothers read good. That is how it went with Nicanor. The destruction of Nicanor. The 13th of Adar every year. You need to remember the fighting spirit your people had and renew that energy in you and bring it with you to Passover. Everybody understand? Come. Come, Come, Come All right. So with that, we're going to do what we normally do. All right. We're going to take some questions. Um, I'm going to. Are you host? Live. Nah, regular call. All right. Call in as host. We're going to drop off the call and call right back in. The call is going to go towards Q&A mode. If you want to ask a question, press star six. Q&A session has started. If you're on the YouTube and you have a question. All of our members have priority, of course, but we will take your questions. If you're on the clubhouse and you have a question, just raise your hand, all right? We'll give you our time to work that out. The elder pulled out his vows, man. And threw it on yeah. him. All right. Man. And that took their heart. Yeah. These Israelites are crazy, yo. Mm -hmm. These are their priests. Our priests are faggots. They're right, feminine. Right, right, right. Exactly. And them, Right. Jupiter and that Demeter priest, they drunk and right. trying to love on the boys. Yeah, right. boys. Their priest is going out like this. Yeah. You know, that's what they think. So, uh, 
the uh, that that Greek uh, band that came to fight uh, Judas. We saw the how masking how man will uh, Judas his troops were. His troops were discomforted. Yeah, right. That's the first Maccabees when they came to meet them on the field. Mm -hmm. All right, we got no we got no questions so far. Let's see on the YouTube. No, everybody just saying good lesson, good lesson. No questions on the YouTube. Let's see on the clubhouse. No questions. All right, all praises to the most high. So to everybody under the sound of the power of my voice, if you call this number at the bottom, we're about to send up the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew, okay? And uh, welcome the most high, and we're going to enjoy the destruction of Nicanor. Khan? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, so we're going to give you our time to call that number at the bottom. We're going to post our... Um, uh, is that a question? Okay, we got one question before we get off here, okay? Um, for a transgression of the law that was unto death, could that sin potentially be blotted out by the life sacrifice? No. No. The only thing that's going to blot out a sin unto death is the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai. I think that's what he's referring to, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, Con. I think that's what he was. Christ makes that possible. Now, the Lord will have mercy on whom he will have mercy. Mm -hmm. And there is a man who probably, probably, and I speak hypothetically, could have committed a sin unto death. And the Most High, upon that man re repenting from the inside of his man, even though he took his death manfully, the Most High could have mercy on that soul. Mm -hmm. But that's up to the Lord. That's not for me to say. All right? I can't teach that for doctrine because the Most High ain't say that. All right. But through Christ, all manner of sin can be forgiven except for blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. All right. Um, Trey Lindsay says, was Bacchus related to the origins of Christmas? Yes. Yes. When you, when you look, uh, I don't know if, it, if it's Christmas. When you look up. Similar customs as far as putting the reef, the mistletoe, there was gift giving. Go ahead. When you, when you look up the Feast of Bacchus. Um, it says that it has about three different dates for a Feast of Bacchus, but the main one was September 3rd, the, mm -hmm. the conical feast dedicated unto him. There's one in the spring and then one in the, uh, in October as well. When you go into the customs, there's a lot of things that go into that Christmas holiday spirit. Um, the God of wine. You know, you you that's Dionysus. So when you go into that holiday spirit, they use the wreath and the mistletoe. Um, there's gift giving. There's a lot of similarities there. Okay, when we talk about Saturnalia, it's kind of the same thing. When we talk about the custom of the heathen to celebrate Nimrod, we talk about the same thing. So what they did was make a damn idolatry salad and make it a feast, and then attribute it to Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which it has nothing to do with him because Yahweh ain't never keep nothing called Christmas. But y'all will do with that what you want, man. This is a, a picture of some of the. Of uh, you showing me that you ain't showing up. You gotta beam it to the computer. I could show it or that website. I could show it. The water mono slide. Water. Come feast with us, man. So Malachi pulled up an image of Bacchus. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Um, you're gonna kind of see what I was talking about. As far as like the mistletoe and all of that. And the wreaths. So you see how they wrap wreaths around their heads and their waists. Um, notice how they got that that tree up holding it up high above everybody. And you get under that tree, you know, it's got a bow wrapped around it. You see that bow? Mm. So do you're gonna see similarities with Christmas and this? They singing songs, just being damn heathens, man. I'm gonna tell you, you that. See it in, in the in the midst naked, naked yeah. basically. You know, this is the glory of Esau's kingdom, man. That's what he that's all he wanted to do is be a damn drunken reveler. Disgraceful <laughs> bitch. <laughs> all right, man. So call this number at the bottom. We're gonna say the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. Mute your phone, number one, and learn the prayer. All right. Um, with that, we're gonna sign off. We're gonna let this uh ride for a little while so that you can call in. We're gonna leave you with the calendar so that y'all get the opportunity to learn our feast days and feast with us if you will. We the Sons of Thunder. We got a special guest today. Are uh, the brothers of Tabernacle of David, man? Let's uh, let's, let's shout them out. Get them, get them guys a, a round of applause, man. Tabernacle. Ah, yeah. Brothers came to kick it with us. 
and show love, man. All right, the God First Gang, man, they came to kick it with us and show love, man. All right, so we show love too, man. First, right? All right, these those are our brothers in arms. Okay, so with that, we the sons of thunder. It's our hearts, prayer, and desire for Israel that they might be saved. Khan, Khan, and Esau, Nicanor, uh, Bac Bacchus, Alcimus, Antiochus, uh, Agags, Lysimachus, Solution, Ptolemy, uh, Antiochus, and we never liked you. Never. Uh -huh. Disgusting.